Hey guys, this is Jim. And I'm Jim. And we are the, the Jims. Welcome back to Until Dawn. If you just left, if you've been following us, you know that we're about to go hitch a ride on a cable car. Cue the fray music, which we can't put here for copyright reasons. That being said, we've been discussing how we've been making good decisions. The only problem with that is Jim over here was playing... And now, as you can see, I have the controller. I guarantee somebody is going to regret giving me the controller. Probably one of our fictional characters. As he's laughing, because he knows it's going to happen. But here we go anyway. Let's continue. Just like going to the prom. Do you want to prom on a cable car? Adventure begins. That's interesting. This was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. Him and Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I... <coughs> no, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> I like these two. You know I don't know why. Just, let's just stop talking about what happened. Yeah. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front. I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And uh, uh, next to Josh, that's how we met. I mean, and we were friends to this day. Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, <laughs> that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that threw on the train rock. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. She might be preferring that. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Same oh. thing. Butterfly effect. Shout out! I had to, uh, to mention that, of course. Why is it all dark now? Oh, it's cutscene. Oh, we have another character. This is Jess. Mike's, Mike's new, new girlfriend. girlfriend. Confident, trusting, and irreverent. Okay. I'm probably going to forget like all of these things. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Jess yeah. is Mike's new girlfriend. We don't, I don't think we know anything about that other girl. You forgot the name of the other girl. Yeah. Already. I already forgot the name of the other girl. Wasn't it Sam? Is it, uh, maybe. I don't know. Wait, was this the bitch from earlier? The, was it? What bitch? The one who said like she couldn't take a joke or something? Or the, the one who was planning the whole thing! Oh, the one planning the whole thing? I don't know. She might have been the ones under the bed. I like the walk physics. They got the little, like, you know, swagger to her walk. Or is that just me? It's just that I've been lonely for so long. <laughs> We're editing that part out. I hope you know that. Uh, they got the little, little <laughs> whoa. What? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, Hi, I was right. having a really weird stroke. We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please. I was right. It was Sam. Oh my. Surprised we didn't God. have to choose we between like ten minutes in there and I letting them out life. and like making fun of them. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts in my own personal playground. Ha ha. Be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Let's explain. Yeah. Mike and M split. We're together. Oh, drama. 
Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. Ems out, I'm in. Huh. Alright, alright. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. Why? See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I uh, mean, yeah. you know, whoever. Uh, Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it off. It is a really nice view. It's like a Bob Ross painting. It looks a little 2D, though. Built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends. Emily, Mike, Mike Sex. intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. All right. I like her for some reason. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's, Emily's new boyfriend. boyfriend. Boy, these people just move on quickly. All of them. I mean, I, <laughs> I wouldn't know what any of this is like. Uh, motivated, ambitious, active. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Alright, so this is Matt. Hi, Matt. That's Emily. No. We're um, trying to get these characters' names, because this is going to be like... Yeah. I'm liking the fact that you play as more than one person. It's kind of, uh... It's cool. Well, they did this in a PlayStation 3 game a while ago, Heavy Rain. Yeah, I haven't played that one. I heard that was really good, though. Um, I played a little bit of it. But I always made the wrong move. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. <laughs> Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Another guy who seems like a fine individual, but he also seems like a jerk. Let's yeah. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. Let's not! The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I agree with her. Just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. <laughs> Michael, I'm just going to lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's going to suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. All right. We're good? All good? I don't, I don't gonna really gonna don't trust now. him. Oh my god, totally. We're so going to make out. Uh, Remember how I said I, I liked him? I'm taking that back. Yeah. See this guy seems like a jerk. See yeah, he, he does, he does. Even when he said they didn't want to make it weird, he, he kind of... He uh, made he, it weird. He didn't, uh, he didn't seem, I don't know, something about his voice. Did you take these the rest of the way? Didn't seem sincere. Bags? Yeah, all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need what? to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. She's, she's not going to go find Sam. She's going to go talk to what's her face. What do we do? Um, I'm going to make the wrong decision. I know what I would do. I, I mean, I would probably agree, but... <laughs> That's what I would do, too. I kind of want to do the persist, but... All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. I know exactly what she's trying to do. At least I think so. Am I that? Am I? Is it that bad that I have that low of an opinion of these people? I mean, I think she's going to talk to Mike. So do I. I don't know what for. Maybe she is going to talk to Sam. <gasps> There's Ashley. How's it going? Oh, oh, wait a uh, minute! I'm Chris, oh, how... Wait a second! How, um... Guys! You have a... <laughs> Come on now! 
Oh, well, if only life uh, just always worked out like if that. If only, yeah! I mean, it would have saved me a lot of trouble! It would have saved both of us a lot of trouble in life, I think. Yeah. They you say probably half of you a lot of trouble! Why am I talking to you? You don't want to hear what we got to say, you want to watch us play the goddamn game. She is academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Yeah. Yeah, she is. I'm sure all of you just ran to your dictionaries. Washington, don't, don't insult the viewers, Jim. I'm sure they all know what forthright means. Why do I feel something coming to get me? Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a jump, sh oh, jump scare. No. Oh, what is but this? Getting a little friendly. Not in the friend zone kind of way. What is this? Dude on their big breakup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to like this character. Yep, she's... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that got me. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare you. What? I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. You oh meant God. it, Matt. <laughs> well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh oh, yeah. I would have... Kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. I would have encouraged him. For real? I bet I could Keep find the peace. <laughs> yeah, actually, I guess that's a pretty good idea. What, what should we do in here now? I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, they're probably are gone now, so I'm gonna agree. Uh, sure. Help yourself. Oh wait, we got the yellow. We got the white ones. Uh. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh wow, that. you have a high opinion of your girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he's pretty angry. Well, I her. ruined the peace. I just said keep the peace. I guess we're not keeping the peace, folks. Yep. Jessica. Jessica. What should we do? Check the phone or read the book? Oh, let's check the phone, man. You can read the book in a few seconds, I suppose. It's... It's 21st century. <laughs> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. What, what is with the... What is with the lame jokes? What is with the lame young rebel girl have, but the surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody. Grab the snowball. Of course. I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, crap, crap. Oh! <laughs> Hit! <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> I'm digging the music. Where yeah. Hiding, little chicken. Where are my oh! Ah. Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Oh, cute little birdie. <laughs> Hello. Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. If it wasn't for what we just saw, I'd say this is kind of cute, actually. Yeah. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. They're gonna make it Sometimes doing bird. nothing. I'm gonna do nothing. I mean, it's just not like it's gonna kill the bird. I know, but snowball. I'm gonna do nothing. Whoa. And hit him. Oh my. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. Huh? My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. Nothing vague about it. Yeah, I'm a helpless romantic and shut up. 
Mike is Emily's ex, right? Yes. Who's the, dating? This is the current couple, allegedly. Oh, oh they're the current. Save some for later, buddy. Okay. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Oh my. Quote unquote. Well. I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Now, at this point, yeah. I would throw another snowball. Also, there's probably shrinkage issues. So, you know. It's cold. It's cold outside, Jim. That's what happens when you're... And then there's Jim and... I think it's been about 15 minutes. And on this note... Oh, well, maybe we should just stick it out there. Oh, Dr. Hill, go to fucking hell. Creeped out now that you're here. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. The YouTube audience, Jimmy, my own personal demons, all nicer this than you. Time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. The fact that I'm alone with Sun Gun. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. <laughs> Just like it all depends. <laughs> but for me, I'm less nervous <sighs> around men than I am women. Yeah. Because you know. Okay, shut up. Because of obvious reasons. <laughs> Everyone is, uh, you know, I am too. Plain scare me or crowd scare me? Uh, Out of the, well, are we going yeah. with me or you? Because I think we probably disagree. I mean, I would go with planes, actually. I would go with crowds. Because crowds don't really freak me out that often. The, I, 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 I'm not bad. Like, I'm, I not can really, go I mean, yeah, I'm not that bad on planes either. Just go with crowds. So we're going to go with my decisions We're going to go here. with you, yeah. You have the controller. Crowds. Crowds of women, I guess. I know which one for me. Easy. For me, it's heights, yeah. For me, it's drowning. For me, it's drowning. Okay. Do we want to compromise? No, just go, just go with yours. All right. Next picture, please. Uh, uh, you notice that I picked everything on the right so far? Yeah, yeah. I have... Rats or snakes? Uh, snakes, for me. You know what? For me, it's rats, but I can understand snakes, too. I think we're going to go with snakes, even though... Uh, it's, snakes are scary because they're dangerous. Rats are scary because they're vermin. Yeah, I don't mind rats. So I'm going to... I'm going to go with snakes just for Jimmy's sake. Uh, I'd go with guns. I'm going to disagree. I think a yeah. knife is far scarier. You don't take a knife to a gunfight. That's true, but you're assuming we have a fair fight. Yeah, I guess knives are... Whatever, go with you. Go knives with are you. much more scary. Because, yeah. again, I don't know I'm about to get shot in the head. I know the knife is coming. There's only so much I can do about it. No. Yeah. Next. It would actually be cockroaches for me. It would also be cockroaches. The only for bug me. that really freaked me out. Cockroaches? Yeah. He's just writing notes like a son of a bitch. Because they're so fucking big, man. Clowns or scarecrows? Well, that clown. That clown is <laughs> freaky as shit. Yeah. But overall. To be honest, clowns don't bother me that much. Yeah? yeah. I I will say this. I, that doesn't mean I'm afraid of scarecrows. I think scarecrows are awesome. Yeah, though. I'm not super afraid of scarecrows either. But I think they're cooler, so I'm going to go with the cooler one if I'm not afraid of either one. Okay. So I'm going to go with scarecrows. All right. You can stop me. You know that, right? Gore disgusts me or crow... Uh, I know the answer for me. Yeah, gore. Yeah, I agree with you. 
I love the setup. I love these choices. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Dumping those. You didn't startle me, actually. For once, I didn't even pay attention. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more unlikely you will find this. Oh, fuck. How many freaking pictures are there? Maybe we should. Yep! Spiders. <laughs> yep. That's a lot of pictures, man. Gore or uh, needles, gore. I'm going really fast. If you want to yeah, step in, no, just let me know. That's fine. Zombies or scarecrows? Uh, zombies. I guess zombies. Wolves or gore? gore. Or dogs? Gore. That's a wolf. It's not a dog. Gore or storms? Gore. It's going to come down to gore and spiders, isn't it? This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. You're not welcome. Spiders, zombies, off. <laughs> Some combination sounds like Friday night. No, it doesn't. I'm guessing these choices are going to affect how the game tries to scare us later. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, though. I promise. We'll talk again very soon. And if so, that's a really cool, uh, it's a really cool thing that they ask you what scares you, and then they... Previously on Until Dawn. You used it to scare you. Okay, well... That's Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. That's a good Complex, place to... Uh, that's a good place to end this episode. I completely agree. It's now you a, know that we don't, one. we don't like gore. Zombies are eh. And spiders. Yeah. Nasty fucking spiders. Nasty fucking spiders. I should have stuck with snakes. But I was stupid. Well... As usual, my pain is your pleasure, viewing audience. I'm sure you will enjoy me screaming like a little girl when it happens. So far, the atmosphere is great. That doctor is the creepiest son of a bitch in the history of son of a bitches. Yeah. Or sons of bitches, I should say. Yeah. We are in agreement there. We are in a complete agreement there. But I love how they're doing the game. I can't, I can't say enough. That they're doing a really great job. I just hope that we uh, we find you all in our next video well and ready to keep playing until dawn. We've only killed two people, and I think those two people were supposed to die. Yeah, it's probably inevitable. It seems like it's pretty tied to the story. So, guess what? I'm okay now, except for the creepy therapist dude. But until next time, everyone, I am Jim... I am also Jim. And we are still the, the Gems. Gems. Thanks for watching, everybody.